Thank you for being with me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. A hurricane more likely in the Atlantic. Now, this hurricane, I want to show you the potential of one, should try to curve a little bit. So we'll cover that. A second area back behind it that has even more of my attention for down the road and watching this spot off the coast of the Carolinas near Bermuda for the potential of development. Actually, a couple areas may develop, plus our strong tropical wave that has been moving by. We've been seeing some of the rainstorms over toward Port-au-Prince, a couple near Jock Mel overnight over toward Boston Blue and Haiti. We've seen a few spotty showers from overnight in Puerto Rico. Some of us had some of the heavier rain yesterday in building back toward Costa Rica and Panama. Now we swing out here. You look at the tropical Atlantic. We have that dust around that I highlighted in the last few videos. Overall, everything appears to be good, but we have one tropical wave here, another one moving off, and then another one back behind it. That third area looks like it'll trek a little bit more toward the west, but we are going to see an area at ahead of it try to develop into a hurricane as the next few days as expected mid to late august is going to get very active now here's the possibility of a tropical storm forming over the next 10 days low chance caribbean and gulf but a high chance off the coast of the carolinas pushing near bermuda that's a spot we're going to monitor closely for development right in through here but with that said the new tropical wave that's about to come off the coast of africa looks like it will try to to develop into at least a tropical storm and more and more of the models are showing this area becoming a hurricane. Here we are in the Caribbean, but hopefully the initial one, the first one makes its turn and stays over the open waters, but another area back behind it may try to sneak underneath that and then kind of approach us down the road in the Caribbean. Lots of time to uh, monitor that. Now this spot here that will eventually come off the coast of Africa, a strong tropical wave. Conditions in the Atlantic are more conducive for development at this point. We have our batch of dust moving in the next couple of days across the Caribbean, but back behind it, we start to lose the dust. The dust season is mainly June and July, and then it lessens in August. We're going to have more moisture in the atmosphere. That will allow this area to develop. The American model and the European model, the latest run on that, the latest information, has this area becoming a hurricane. Uh, Canadian model doesn't have anything. Icon model, the German model, has it becoming a tropical depression or a tropical storm. So it is more and more likely that this area will eventually develop, but hopefully make that curve away from us in the Caribbean. Again, there's going to be a lot to track. Not everything is going to hit everyone. I know there's a lot of uh, other entities out there that, that make it kind of feel that way. I'm not only going to show you where these hurricanes, tropical storms are going to go over the next few months, but where they're not going to go. So you're not wasting your time time resources and having extra anxiety, of course, over this. But it is going to be a busy time of year. The spot off the coast of the Carolinas, the American model, European model, uh, Canadian model, and the ICON model all have this area becoming a tropical depression or tropical storm, kind of splitting the Carolinas and Bermuda, which is good. It would stay over the water, but there may even be a secondary area back behind it that tries to develop again. So plenty of spots to watch as we go forward. And the water temperature is so very warm. Coast of the Carolinas, that's one of the reasons we're going to see some development here because those water temperatures are warm. The Gulf is like bath water. We'll see if anything eventually tries to sneak in there down the road. That will be a hot spot to watch. And of course, across the Caribbean for us, we know those water temperatures are on the warm side. But more importantly, it's what's going on above our heads. We're about to lose the dust. More moisture is going to build in. So let's get a look at a couple things here. Here's the Atlantic Basin, the Atlantic Caribbean Gulf. There's that spot near uh, Bermuda. And then watching the new tropical waves coming off of Africa. Those are the ones that will develop. I do expect a development out of multiple tropical waves coming off. As far as where they go, that's what we'll be tracking as we go forward. Initially, high pressure and control, that'll keep the area moving off toward the west. Uh, that's what we'll be watching out for the next two days. Now, let's tick ahead as we work our way into Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of the upcoming week. Now, as we get into Wednesday, here we are again in the Caribbean, and I'm going to, going to cover everything. So, uh, thank you for your patience, even what's going on with Gil out in the uh, eastern Pacific, watching this spot here. But it's this tropical wave that I do believe will develop into at least a tropical storm and more and more likely a hurricane. But what's going to happen is here we are in the Caribbean, almost all of the models showing a curve. And that's what we like to hear starting to curve a little bit more to the north. High pressure kind of breaks down or moves away. High pressure is that blocker or that fence, if you will, keeping things down. But if that moves away, that'll give this an opportunity to curve. And that's what we want to see. And then watching a new spot by the end of the week, 
right near North Carolina, there is the potential of a secondary spin up near the Carolinas, very active area. Sometimes patterns get kind of stuck for a few weeks and that's what we're seeing. Then by Sunday, so here, we're looking a week from now, here is this area, should curve away from the Caribbean, any changes, I got you covered, but a new tropical wave back behind it, that's the one that even has more of my attention because while this one may curve, this one may not. So as we go forward in upcoming videos, I'm going to be watching that. I do expect some development out of that. And then that should at least march closer to us in the Caribbean, not necessarily moving in, still way down the road. Uh, but that one I'm a little bit more concerned about to see if that will come closer to land, come closer to our islands as we go forward. Now, plenty of areas to cover. So here's a closer look at us in the uh, Caribbean. We had the rainstorms, British, U.S. Uh, Virgin Islands yesterday, uh, Puerto Rico. Uh, and that has all shifted kind of uh, back toward Haiti, the DR parts of Cuba, hit or miss for us in Jamaica, watching the rain build in Costa Rica, Panama, tomorrow, same thing, tropical waves sliding back through, even the southern Bahamas, we may catch a couple more showers, Turks and Caicos, and then the rain building as we get through uh, Nicaragua, uh, parts of Honduras, even over toward Belize as we get toward Tuesday, getting a shot of some uh, spotty showers that will be on the move, there's that tropical wave moving up toward uh, the Bahamas and Cuba, not seeing development out of that, should see some extra development out of the eastern Pacific side, but all eyes as we get deeper of the week what's going on out in the Atlantic it's getting into that time of year that we start to get some development and that is what I'm starting to see out there so It'll be busy, but I got you covered right here. All right, looking at this spot to the north, here's Bermuda, the Carolinas, North and South Carolina. A couple areas to watch, a couple kind of areas of low pressure, and then watching out for some of those storms back toward the plains and over toward the uh, Rocky Mountains. Now, a couple showers as well, pushing back toward New Brunswick, watching Quebec and Ontario, but there's that spin right there. It should develop, but north of Bermuda. So if it becomes a named storm, it'll be north of Bermuda. But as we get toward the end of the week, these old fronts are just hanging out, and I Show you those water temps they are so very warm that eventually as we get toward the end of the week there may be some additional development uh, anywhere from uh, Florida up toward the Carolinas so still monitoring this spot as we go forward this here is by Thursday there could be a secondary area that does try to develop as the week goes on so there's many areas to cover this point going forward now the next name on the list is Dexter if that spot north of Bermuda or kind of which will eventually be north of Bermuda gets a name it is Dexter we're going to have that area that looks to develop into a hurricane in the Atlantic uh, and then another spot moving uh, off so you have Dexter Aaron uh, Ferdinand uh, Gabrielle Umberto Imelda Jerry Karen as we kind of go down the list and we're going to start seeing more and more name systems and and, uh, just monitoring where they go. All locations matter, so I'll got you covered here. Now, in the eastern Pacific, here's Hawaii, a couple areas out there. There's Mexico, watching Mexico. Here is Gil. Gil will stay away and weaken. Gill's going to fall apart, right? Approaching the Hawaiian Islands, but falls apart. But another area back behind it, that's what we're watching. So Gill falls apart. Some of those swells will be working in though. And then another name system, and then the potential of a third one back behind it in the Eastern Pacific. So both basins, Eastern Pacific and in the Atlantic Basin getting very active going into the end of the week. This one will get closer to Hawaii. So watching that, I'll monitor that as we go forward and then keeping an eye on that additional activity that is sitting still south of Mexico, mainly south of Mexico, uh, keeping an eye on that as we uh, go forward. Here is a Gil, Gil, a tropical storm now weakening here are the Hawaiian Islands. So it will be falling apart over the next uh, couple of days. Now, as far as the rain goes, I'll zoom down here in just a second with kind of a core of uh, some heavier rain, spotty thunderstorms back through Cuba. So we're looking at some spots, a quick 50 to 100 millimeters of rain with some of those thunderstorms. Jamaica, Cayman Islands, we're looking at just kind of the hit or miss variety. We've already seen some of that action. Haiti and the Dominican Republic still monitoring some of those river crossings. Hit or miss. Now in this sector, St. Martin, St. Bart's, St. Kitts and Nevis, Anguilla, Antigua, Barbuda, uh, we're going to have some of the dust the next few days. So the rain chance temporarily uh, lower. Dominica South, uh, St. Lucia, Barbados, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, Martinique, Grenada, hit or miss showers. Uh, Trinidad, we could get a couple spots getting over 50 millimeters of rain the next few days. That's few and far between though for the most part. Rain chance has gone down some Guyana and Suriname, uh, but building here, lifting up toward uh, Honduras, where we'll get some higher totals as the uh, week goes on. Not as much across uh, Mexico, west of Mexico City. Uh, we're seeing some of that rain. Keep an eye on that spot in Texas too, lifting up toward Oklahoma with some bigger storms. But this is the core here of very heavy rain. Parts of uh, Georgia, 
back through uh, Alabama, Panhandle and Western uh, Florida, uh, swinging back toward uh, Savannah, Georgia. Some of these totals upwards of four to six inches of rain the next few days. And as that builds off the coast, that could develop into a tropical depression or tropical storm. So the wave heights in that area the next few days will be on the high side. We'll have a bit of a chop as we work our way back through the uh, Caribbean. A little bit bumpy at uh, times, uh, but all eyes throughout the week will not only be on that area there, but what is trying to develop in the Atlantic, which looks to become a hurricane, and that second area, uh, that'll be back behind it. So the rain chance down some, a 30% chance for us in Jamaica the next uh, couple of days, just a 20 to 30% chance as we swing across the Cayman Islands. Rain chance about 40%. Trinidad and Tobago will have some hit or miss uh, showers around, mainly dry in Barbados. Barbados North, we have some of that dust. St. Lucia, rain chance 20 to 30%, and a 30% chance over the next three days in Grenada. So kind of a hit or miss variety of getting some of those showers around. St. Vincent of the Grenadines very isolated, 20 to 30 percent chance. And we do that again as we work our way back through Martinique. Rain chance staying on the low side. 20 to 30 percent chance in Dominica. You see how it's on the low side? Monitoring the dust. Passing shower in Guadalupe. Some of that dust the next few days. And watching out for the lower air quality. Antigua and Barbuda uh, swinging uh, all the way back through St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat. Lower air quality with us with uh, the rain chance staying pretty minimal. Same thing in Guadalupe and St. Bart's with that dust. We'll have that dust around the next uh, two days, St. Martin, Saba, and Stacia. And we'll see an isolated shower possible or thunderstorm back through Puerto Rico. Not widespread, but a couple will be around. Rain chance about 20 to 30 percent. U.S. and British Virgin Islands, isolated showers as we work our way back through the uh, Bahamas. Uh, 20 to 30 percent chance. Turks and Caicos and a 30 to 40 percent chance. Some scattered storms still possible, especially today in the Dominican Republic and back through Haiti. So that's why I mentioned the runoff and those river crossings we'll be watching. Rain chance will build a bit for us in Belize the next few days. Aruba, Carousel, and Bonaire mainly on the dry side. Rain chance will be staying small as is somewhat typical of this time of year. Guyana and Suriname rain chance 50%. 40% chance as we work our way back through uh, Suriname and the rain chance scattered about through Cuba. Pretty equal chances western, central, and eastern sections of getting those thunderstorms. Costa Rica, Panama, the rain chance getting higher, 70% chance. Building some in Nicaragua tomorrow and Tuesday and a 40 to 50% chance back through uh, Honduras. Rain chance about 50 to 60% building some Guatemala and El Salvador. 40% chance the next couple of days around Mexico City and a 30 to 40% chance right across the uh, Yucatan Peninsula, 50% chance in northern Colombia, and we'll see that rain chance about 50 to 60% chance uh, uh, the next three days back through uh, Venezuela and back through Bermuda. All eyes on what's trying to develop near the United States. Uh, most of it should stay to the north. If it does shift closer, I'll let you know right away. So very active period coming. Tropical waves will be developing now. More named systems are going to be popping up. I'm going to monitor the tracks of these, and I will give you early notice that anything comes close to our islands, I will let you know. I'll also let you know if they are not going to come close to keep your, our, our anxiety in check and watching near the southeast U.S. and Bermuda. Next name storm is Dexter. That is going to happen soon. I'll keep you covered right here. I hope you're doing well and have a good rest of your day.